And good afternoon, everyone. February 19th, 2024. Happy to be with you today here over at Day Trader Weekly. Uh, my name is Steven Salvatore. Uh, I run a hedge fund called Sun City Capital. I have an office in New Jersey in the state of Florida, but I also contribute here to Day Trader Weekly, uh, the newest and latest publication uh, specifically for day traders. And uh, a lot of us um, top traders are banding together to uh, contribute more. Um, but this publication really help um, the everyday trader and you know the fund managers and everyone to kind of band together and do all the right things and, and trade properly. So today we got a couple topics. I'm um, have some other videos posted. Uh, but we have uh, some big stuff going on this week. We got obviously the biggest of which is the NVIDIA earnings. Um, SMCI has been crazy. I have another uh, video that I was recently posted um, earlier today about SMCI. I'm going to go over some of that problem with you as well. And we also have some retail earnings coming up. Um, big ones, Home Depot, Lowe's, and then followed by Walmart, Target. We got a Walmart split coming up. So much going on, such a wild year, such a wild start to the year. Uh, it's been great. Uh, January was explosive. Um, the first uh, coming out of the gates February was pretty explosive. Now things starting to flatten out a little bit um, with some softening PPI numbers and CPI numbers. It looks like inflation is going to, uh, the lowering of interest rates going to be put off. Uh, originally, the market kind of absorbed what was going to happen in March. I think that's kind of what caused January to, to rock it as much as it did, but now things softening up and pulling back. We saw, saw a lot of earnings calls last week, and a lot of them, a lot of companies posted some good numbers, and stocks pulled back liquidity coming out of the market in anticipation of things softening up. So here we go. NVIDIA, let's get started. Now, NVIDIA, this is going to be an interesting one. So obviously, since um, the beginning of this year, obviously all of last year, but this stock has just been on fire this year. I remember trading it in December in the mid to high 400s, and I remember it hitting 500 was, was a big deal um, right after, I think it was around Christmas time. And now we see NVIDIA at this explosive <laughs> number it's gotten to, which is just ridiculous. Uh, it's moved nearly from about you know, mid 400s to up now in the mid 700s, uh, with no end really in sight. Uh, some analysts and some um, have put crazy ratings on this thing up in the 1200s now, just absolutely absurd. Uh, but what should you do as an investor? So if if you're not in Nvidia and you didn't got you didn't ride this wave and you're new to this. Um, Sitting out is probably a good idea uh, for now. There, there's no real play to make here. NVIDIA is way too volatile, very similar to what I was talking about with SMCI. A lot more so with that SMCI, but with this one, um, you know, the premiums are just priced so high with options. I mean, if you want to buy the stock long term, of course, I, I would have nothing against that. Um, this, this stock should uh, continue uh, a move. It may have a split again in its future. But there's just so much action in this thing, and it, the premiums are priced so high, the IVs are so high on these options that to get in something into something right before earnings would just be foolish. We don't know which direction it's going to go, and it's going to move dramatically in whatever direction that may be. So you want to be very careful with that. So, my personal opinion with Nvidia, my personal take on all of this. Um, is, with this AI craze, is that it's it's very overplayed, very very overvalued, and I think there's a, there's a major pullback in place here um, for these top AI stocks: AMD, Nvidia, SMCI, ARM is a new one added to the mix here. Um, these are are very volatile, very overbought stocks, and I think we're due for a pullback. My opinion: I'm not going to to trade this concept, but I think Nvidia. Uh, might pull back on earnings significantly. Uh, might just be a big drop, um, depending on what happens. I think the stock is super overbought, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to make a move after earnings. I'm going to see what happens, how the stock reacts, and most likely either change or add positions based on that. I like to trade around earnings. I explained this in some of my other videos. It's a safe way to do it. There's no reason to take gambles on stuff, unless you're in something long term, obviously, but you want to be super careful about ever 
uh, doing holding options through through um, earnings to try to um, you know substantially make return. It's just not the way to to trade properly. It's a, it's a bad decision. <laughs> I've done it. I did it in my early trading days. I catch myself every once in a while. It's it's not a good play. There's no reason to do that. So Nvidia, we want to. We want to sit, you know, we'll sit this one out and, and see what happens, and then uh, make some take some positions based on that. So now, next on the list, SMCI. You know, as I stated in my video uh, that I put that is specifically on SMCI, uh, this is a very overbought, low float stock. That you really want to be careful with this. The premiums are priced so super high. Um, you know, to take any sort of gamble here, the only play really to make on SMCI, and it could be done with NVIDIA as well, is a longer term straddle or strangle play with options. Again, you want to be careful with your contracts. You, you want to be buying dates that are well out, months out. I know the premiums are higher and it's very attractive looking at cheaper daily premiums, but that's just a, a recipe to get yourself into trouble. Um, if you have a strategy like I do, where I trade intraday, um, and I also do swing trades when I have major signals that I'm indicating to get into longer term buys. I may buy some dailies on a day, day trade to, as an adder of contracts to try to add on to profits, but um, just trying to swing uh, dailies back and forth, especially on stocks like this, is just very foolish risk. You do not want to do that. It is a recipe for disaster. Yeah, you might hit a couple home runs here and there and think you are um, the next George Soros. Uh, you are not the next George Soros. It was beginner's luck. Um, and it's not sustainable, it won't work. But you can do this sustainable. You can buy longer term options, that makes sense. You can hedge your risk, and that makes sense. So SMCI, NVIDIA, the only play you could possibly make right now that makes sense would be a longer term straddle if you wanna, and I would stay in the money too, even though again, the premiums are high, they, uh, these IVs are so huge that if these stocks flatten out after earnings, IVs are gonna get crushed like you've never seen before. And it'll just be brutal if you buy out of the money. So buy in the money. If you want to straddle this one on the up and down side, uh, I have no problem with that. That's a safe play, very low risk. Um, and you're most likely, if you, as long as you date them out properly and, and take your profit accordingly and cut back um, when, you, when you get ahead, you'll be making a good play. So uh, that's my take on that. Home Depot earnings. Uh, the next one coming up and then we're going to be followed by Lowe's, Target, and a bunch of other good ones. But let's stick right now with Home Depot. Home Depot, I believe that uh, Home Depot and Lowe's are going to have absolutely astronomical earnings. I may be buying, loading up, uh, which I normally don't do. I normally don't buy into earnings calls, but these might be two that I might do it with only because, you know, the real estate market was obviously higher interest rates, real estate, home buying, and applications were down significantly over the past year. Uh, remodels, I'm in the contracting business. Besides being a stock trader, I, I'm also in the contracting business. It, remodels have been off the charts, uh, building and all, uh, absolutely off the charts. So Home Depot and Lowe's are gonna be posting substantial beats here. Uh, the stocks are not super overbought, so I do see uh, I'm going to use kind of one to gauge the other. Home Depot's coming out first tomorrow morning. Let's see where that goes. But I do, even though my, you know, typically I only trade on technicals. Um, so I'm not showing a complete buy signal here on Home Depot like I would normally want to see. Uh, but this one, is, I'm going to stick with fundamentals here. And they're going to have astronomical numbers. So I see the stock taking a jump here. It's not going to be a huge position. It's going to be a kickstart position, as I call it, where I'll buy a couple contracts. And then if things go my way, I will add on substantially and then when the market opens and take it from there. And I will judge lows completely based on whatever Home Depot does. So Home Depot comes out with, with good numbers and the stock does well. I'm going to load up immediately on, on lows as well. So those are... That is uh, basically it for right now. I have a couple other picks, uh, so a couple other puts that I posted a video on earlier. Um, I believe on Roku and Dropbox and Bloom Energy. That's a good one. Uh, they had earnings last week and all the stocks took a hit. They're going to continue to drop, in my opinion. 
Um, I'm waiting on a couple hourly signals for those to take positions. But it's going to be a busy week. This is going to be an awesome week. I, got, I have those. I have Home Depot. We got Lowe's. And we got obviously some big news and semiconductor coming. Uh, NV NVIDIA and SMCI will be affected by that, uh, whatever happens with NVIDIA. So an action-packed week coming. It's going to be a short week, too. So it is going to be loaded, loaded, loaded with action. So we just want to, again, we want to always take it slow, uh, position ourselves properly. Uh, we're not gamblers. We are traders and investors. And with that being said, I wish you all a happy day off. This was a short version today, but we will be back up and running first thing tomorrow morning. Lots of action. Home Depot earnings coming at, I believe, 830 so I will be in the office bright and early tomorrow uh, preparing uh, my trades on that. And I will be back with you as well. Uh, questions or comments, leave them in the, uh, leave them for me. I'll be happy to get back to you. Take care, everyone.